there. Uh, we found this on the side of the road. I guess one of our neighbors decided uh, it wasn't worth repairing, and uh, this is something that we could probably do pretty quickly, my wife and I. So, um, just going to take off all this old wood, and and uh, just with a, a wire brush, scrape off all the old paint, repaint it, and uh, it's as simple as that. Which she's squawking. <laughs> all right, what I'm going to do is hit all of these old nuts and bolts with some WD-40. They'll basically just loosen it up and make them come off that much easier. Here I have just a socket uh, put into my drill. Try and make this quick and simple. Uh, I'm sure these are rusted on so after so many years they're going to be difficult to get off. But... Yeah, this is just going to spin and spin. I'll have to get some vice grips and grip that and then twist it off. But uh, I think I'm going to have to bail on this hardware and get new hardware as well. But Oh, oh that came off nicely. I'm sure the majority of them are not going to be that easy. Okay, after finding almost every single one of these nuts not coming off, I didn't want to just pinch these with vice grips and then turn that to get it started because I would ultimately uh, mar those threads and then they'd, they'd never come off. So what I've decided to do is what I did with this one here that's on the ground. Um, it actually, I got one side off and then the other one just tore and I thought, ah, you know what, that's exposed. I can grip that with vice grips and then just turn that off. I'm going to do that with all of them and hopefully uh, this will come off much easier that way. Let's see. All right, first things first, I'm gonna take all the screws out. All right, as you can see, once I took that brace off the, uh, the seat, all in all the uh, cross members, it started falling right apart. So I'm probably going to be able to tear these off easily. Let's see. Right, my wife just yelled out the window and told me to get dinner going, so Eddie Spaghetti and I are going to knock this out. Alright, barbecue's on. Back to the bench. After getting some great advice from the guy at the lumber yard, I ended up going with pine 1x2s and 1x3s. And these are just rough cut. Um, he said you could go cedar, but after the elements um, beat down on this bench for years, um, it's going to look the same. So uh, it's very, very wise and cost effective to go with the pine. Here I'm just making sure you see that I'm wearing safety glasses because with the wire brush, the old rust and paint really does fly up and goes right in your eyes. Okay, here with a damp rag, I'm just going to go over everything, just to make sure there's no dust and loose debris on this that the paint won't adhere to. Okay, one last step before this gets painted. I just have to mark where the holes are going to be drilled for the bolts to go through. Here I'm just putting down the first of many light coats. You don't want to go on thick because it's more likely to chip off. Well, that 
first coat dries, I'm just going to move on and mark where the holes have to be drilled for the bolts. And here I've flipped over the cast iron and doing the first coat on the other side. You having a fun time in the sun? Yes, sir. Here it comes. Woo. Okay, on to drilling the holes for the bolts. I'm starting with the small drill bit and then I'll move up one uh, drill bit size at a time just to make sure I have the holes still snug when these bolts are fit in. Now that the holes are drilled, we're giving it one final sanding and the cast iron gets its final coat of black and these boards now get prepped uh, for final installation with Moisture Guard, which will repel water and protect against any sun damage. Remember the nuts and bolts that we saved? We did put WD-40 on them, so we're just going to clean these all up and brush off any old rust and just hit these with a little black paint before we install them. Here I'm just putting a little painter's tape on the head of my hammer. I'm going to tap these bolts in through the boards and I just don't want it to mar the heads of these bolts and knock off any of the black paint. Here are the support pieces that go underneath the bench are getting a quick touch up. Now that everything's had sufficient time to dry, we're in the final stretch and we're reassembling the bench. Okay, just tightening up the nuts on these bolts, and because we made the holes snug, the bolts hold themselves while we tighten these up. Here we have our refurbished bench. It comes in well under $30. We have about 20 in wood and another five to six in the black paint. And the rest is all elbow grease. So now our little munchkin is gonna have years of enjoyment on our new bench.